Hey everybody, what's up? Part two of the Pure Signal and 2MDX here. We just got a new device in uh, from cleanrf.com. Big thank you to Tyler and everybody there who set me up with this device. Uh, it does have a variable on it, so it's a variable RF sampler, which is great. So you can make your adjustments for your Pure Signal. But right now we got Thetis up. Uh, pure Signal is off. We're gonna do a few tests with this device so I could show you it working. Um, first off, we got it on 15 here. So sometimes this number changes, but this is on 15 for the SAT. Um, what else, what else, what else? Let's move this over here for a sec. So we're running the Mercury 3S. Got the dry power all the way up about five watts into the Mercury, doing about almost 500. Hello, radio. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, three. Power, uh, pure signal off. Then we're going to turn that pure signal on. And let's see it do its magic here. It's okay, correcting. Okay, look at that. On the rails. Looks nice. So check this out. So right now, uh, so right, it automatically went to three, as you see there, for the for the step in here. You see that? Okay. So, one, two, one, two, and two, and two. And now it's working. Now I'm gonna take the variable on the RF, I'm gonna take the variable on the um, RF sampler, and I'm gonna turn it the other way. I wanna show you something. I'm gonna turn it opposite. So I just turned it 360, counterclockwise the opposite way. And let's see what we get here. One, two, three. Oh, look at that. You see that? Look at this, hello, hello. So that variable is working. Uh, it's trying to correct it to the pure signal, but now look, this now the sat, sat is up to 19. One, two, three, four, and two M. Do you see what's going on here? Look at that. Now let's turn it back the other way. Oh, you know what? Let's go halfway. We'll go halfway. Check this out. Uh, halfway, halfway. Okay. Now we're halfway on that device, and let's see what that does there. One, two, three, four. Still at 19. And two MDX test. All right, let's bring it back to where we had it. Bring that about all the way that way. By my squeaky chair. All right, here we go. And that's so much better, right? Look at that. Hello, and it's staying on. Oh, jump, jump to three. But you can see how clean it is, and it's working beautiful. Once again, thank you to Tyler. I'll put the link in the video for this device so you can buy one. Uh, it's got great support. Uh, if you have any questions, what kind, he's going to probably ask you what kind of radio you're going to use it on. Hello, hello, and 2MDX. So he's going to ask you what kind of radio you're going to use it for. Um, and what's the application, whatnot. So just give him all the information he needs. So this way you can get the best device possible for your setup. Um, yeah, I'm very pleased. I was using a... Um, in the part one video, I was just using a basic RF sample. It didn't have any type of variable to it, but it worked good. It was okay. But this one here is actually really working. I mean, you see it. You know, you could you could compare the video from part one to part two. You see the difference now. I mean, this thing is this thing's on the money. Okay, so it's coming off the back of the um, antenna out to that sampler, tapping off the uh, RX3 that you see I did on the other video. It's working great. I love it. Absolutely love it. Thank you, Tyler. Um, that's really it. Much it. I mean, like I said, I'll put the link in the video to the, the website where you could purchase it. Um, I bought the... Is that the 5K model? I just wanted the more beefy. Yeah, and it's not like I'm running 5,000 more, but I just wanted the, the better model. I think I paid... A, I think it was 104 bucks. I think it is. So, yeah, check out the site. If you have any questions about the device, shoot Tyler an email. He'll gladly help you. Um, I believe there's two people there, Tyler and Brian. If, don't quote me, but I think that's how it how it's ran there. At the RF Clean. Uh, I'm uh, sorry, wait, wait, what is it called? It's, oh, yeah, cleanrf.com. Sorry about that. Cleanrf.com. So, um, yeah. Dude, this is running good, guys. The Hermes Light 2. I just purchased another one. So I'm going to do a video on the Hermes Light 2 with the linux software so that's coming next so stay tuned for that once again thank you to everybody watching my videos who put my that put the likes the shares and subscribe
I appreciate all of you guys. Uh, enjoy your Memorial Day weekend, 7-3.